Did you guys find some moose tracks? Yeah? Couple moose tracks. He's up there somewhere. You guys want to have some lunch? Yeah? Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have a little snack, huh? I think I'm going to have a coffee. It's cold out, isn't it? I know, I know. Hey. Alright, come on. Hey guys, sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Life's been busy. I'm sure you know what that's like. But today I decided I don't care. We got about a foot of snow last night. Some late spring snow. I'm pretty pumped about it. These guys are too. Decided I'd bring my two flea bags out here with me. They've been cooped up too. So, yeah, I'm just coming out to have a little of coffee. I got a new piece of kit for Christmas from my oldest daughter. The old French press. I'm going to give that a try today. Maybe do a little bit of carving. We just enjoy being outside, so thanks for joining me. And uh, yeah, let's get something warm in it, huh? Yeah. yeah, so today I brought with me my Hidden Woodsman haversack. I love this whole thing. It's just enough for a day out. Ah, snow. Brought some leather gloves. You never know. A little uh, survival blanket. Some lunch, Asian Tinan noodle. I don't know, something new. Let me give it a try. Yeah, not for you guys. I always bring with me a little closed cell piece of foam, something to sit on. Thing only weighs a couple ounces. It's super lightweight. I always bring that with me. And then, this is my new toy. Got this new French press. It's from Woods. Yeah, haven't used it yet. Just tried it out a little bit at home, but it comes with this cool little carrying case for the handle, which I kind of like. Keeps things simple. So we'll see how well this thing works. And then of course I brought my French press. Now, as you know, some of you know, I like my self-reliance gear. And uh, this is the self-reliance cup. And I was happy to find out that this Woods brand coffee press fits perfectly in the self-reliance cup. So, I'm going to give that a try today. i got to keep this thing closed. I'm going to fill it with snow. So, yeah. We'll see how it goes. Dog treats? What a beautiful day. The thing I picked up was this little pin. I like these things. A little bit better in the rear. Ziploc bag, they're reusable. I just have my coffee beans in here. So, 
never used one of these before. I'm sure many of you have, but I'm not that fancy. So according to the instructions, put the beans in the top here. Oh yeah, smells good. Probably about half of them maybe. Fill it with snow. Yeah, cover it up. Put this guy on and just start grinding. You guys are just gonna have to lay down. Yeah, you're gonna have to lay down. Go play, go do something. Grind away, grind away. As long as you stay. Here's how long it takes. Nice out here, right? Oh yeah, get a little window. A little height. I set it for coarse. Figuring out the French press, I wanted it ground kind of coarse. Doesn't like a hot cup of coffee on a cold day. Or hot chocolate. Anything like that. Oh, there we go. That didn't take very long. Cool. Oh, yeah. Alright, now we'll just get some water boiling. So, in every single jacket I own, I keep a little bit lighter. I'm out here enough that I always seem to manage to forget a lighter. A few years back, I decided I would just put a little bit lighter in every single jacket I have, so I don't have to worry about it. Of course, I take it out if I ever wash the thing, but I know it's in there. Okay, here we go. Scary, huh? Alrighty. I'll bump that guy. I hope I brought the lid. Did I bring the lid? Yeah, I brought the lid. Okay. Well, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's see. You can only get so far in about 10 minutes, but yeah. So let's try this, uh, this coffee press now. French press. I'm French, I should be able to say it right. Okay.
Oh yeah, looks good. Looks good. Nice tight fit. Cheers, pups. Good. It's good. Don't spill my coffee. Don't spill my coffee. I love you too, but don't spill my coffee. Good. Basically, just fancy ramen noodles. But... Hmm. I think I want to get out of here after lunch. Go for a walk, for a month. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Right. Well, I'm going to finish up my lunch. Hang out with these guys for a little bit. And then I'm going to move on. There's a, uh, there's a cave up here that a friend of mine and I visited a few years back. I'm going to go see if I can find it. I'm going to mark it on my GPS so I can find it again if I do manage to find it. He's digging a hole. Ron most digging a hole. So, yeah. I'll get back with you in a minute. Well, I think I'm closing in on where those caves were. I'm getting all these erratics, all these big boulders all laying all over the place down here. And that's the general area where that cave was. You can see behind me, I'm up quite a ways. I have to check the GPS, see what my elevation is. But as I remember, those caves were right around 2,000 feet, 2,500, somewhere in there. So I'm going to continue on. Fingers crossed, maybe I can find it. Come pop. Well, as you can see, got all these stones, this ledge. It's really steep right here. It's kind of mountain goat country, but I think that cave is up in there somewhere. So I got to work my way through all these big stones, all these erratics. See if I can find it. Onward and upward. You guys find a good place to take a nap in that little cave? Huh? Yeah. So, I got poking around here. That looks like bear scat to me. So, I have got to believe that this might have been a den at one point. 
You can make out right up in there. I think that might have been a bear den. Of course, they've all woken up and they're off rompsing around now, but yeah. You never know what you're going to find in the woods. So, this is a perfect example of how to break an ankle wandering around up here in all of these boulders. There's a lot of snow, and I just stepped in this guy. Thankfully, I didn't fall forward, but if I did, it wouldn't take much to break an ankle. And I'm up here alone, so I don't know how much further I'm going to go. I might just call it a day. It's not worth it. Hurt myself and have my family come searching for me. <laughs> I'm going to poke around a little bit, see if I can see it, but I think I'm going to turn around, unfortunately. So, yeah, we'll see. Looking for any big deep holes. Take my time. That's pretty close. I know I'm real close. These great big boulders are all over the place up here. They're erratic, I, like I mentioned before. They're left over from the old ice age. The mountains out, out west, the Rockies, they're pretty young mountains, but our mountains out here in the east, especially in Vermont, they were ground down years and thousands, millions of years ago. And these big boulders were all caught in, up in the glaciers. And as they melted, whoa, they just dropped these stones all over the place. So it's kind of cool, makes for a, Fun environment to explore, but I don't know how much further I'm going to go. These little guys, I don't want them to vanish in one of these big caves or craters in here. It would make a make for a really bad day. I know. I know. You ready to go home? Yeah. You ready to go for a ride in the truck? So anyway, guys, I'm probably going to poke around a little bit more, but they're already telling me to go home, and I'm probably going to listen to them. They're smarter than me. <laughs> so thanks for joining me on this little adventure and uh, I'll see you next time okay guys let's get out of here